guys, Ruiz, I got my, my mom here today. We in the car, we took a picture, so hello, my Trubies. I love y'all. Hello, my Trubies. Um, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for all of the, you know, well wishes and speedy recoveries. I definitely appreciate it all. Um, please don't mind my face right now. I don't know why it's on, like, swole mode. Um, none of the medications are supposed to do that, mm -hmm. to my knowledge. So, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I just really wanted to briefly say, you know, embrace every moment of every day you know you never know when life is going to throw these obstacles at you go ahead um you never know and the picture she put on you never know when life is going to throw these obstacles at you and you still have to be ready to take on the world honestly so take care of yourselves take your health serious um all of that all of that good stuff don't don't take anything for granted um so I have had a few yeah, different questions as to, you know, what happened and things like that. And I was trying not to kind of go into detail because I was going to give like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just in a mood, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. However, um, two nights ago, two, three nights ago, okay. Um, I was having like really, really excruciating back pain. Get one and sit back and put your seatbelt on. Um, I was having really, really bad back pains. Now, I've always had horrible back pain since I've had Sincere. Um, and Sincere is three, about to be four. So I wasn't really thinking anything of it. However, at about three o'clock in the morning, these this back pain actually woke me up out of my sleep. Like, I was crying like I was literally crying for my mother like I'm like mom like just make it stop hurting my mom don't even live with me y'all like it's just me and the kids so um I was just like I let the kids sleep so I got up I'm like changing all positions I didn't left from my bed and laid on the floor I didn't got off the floor and went inside of uh, sincere room and laid in his bed like I didn't balled up in the fetal position and it was not like it it was just throbbing it was if, if I had to put it on a scale from one to ten I was at about a twelve so I just I ran some hot water um your hot bath water and I took off all of my clothes and I just got in the tub and it started to soothe me that it, it relaxed me a bit however um it was only like momentarily and I still felt the pain so I ended up trying to use the bathroom I couldn't I couldn't really go it was like a lot of pressure on my abdomen um, but I couldn't use the bathroom and then next thing you know I started throwing up so I'm like okay this is my body telling me something is really wrong something's going on something isn't right um, so it mind you by this time it's about 4 30 in the morning so over an hour has passed um, I'm like, okay, the kids got to be to school at 9.30, and then I have to be to class at 10. So I was still going to try to push it and take them to school, go to class, sign in, and then go to the emergency room to see what was going on. And mind you, I also had a meeting at 3 o'clock um, with a new client. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll be able to take care of this, go to the emergency room, they give me some pain meds or whatever the case may be, and y'all going to send me on my way. Well... My body was like, no, it's time to go right now. So I woke the kids up out of their sleep, and I want to say it's about 5, 5.30. I got to the hospital about 5, 5 a.m., 5.30, somewhere around that time. So the kids were at the hospital with me for, like, the first eight hours, and then my little sister ended up um, coming to get them and pick them up. So I was in the emergency room mm, for at least, like, 12 hours, and then after leaving the emergency room, they put me in, uh, they, they admitted me into the hospital or whatever. Um, they did one, they ended up running a CAT scan or doing a CAT scan, and the result, they did, like, drew blood and all of the extra stuff that they do, urine samples and all of that, and they ended up, um, coming in and letting me know, like, hey, you know, you have two kidney stones. Okay, what's a kidney stone? All right, well, I, I know it's like a stone, but what is it? So, um, they kind of gave me, like, the explanation of that and the, the flip side to that because normally, um, if you know anything about a kidney stone, and this is, you know, I, I know briefly from nursing school, however, we all know I didn't finish that. So, therefore, I only knew so much. But from the knowledge that I do have, my previous knowledge that I do have, and the research that I've done, um, and, of course, all of the questions that I asked the doctors, um, 
you know, kidney stones can normally pass itself. You can pass them. Um, and it's just coming. It's a, it's a, like a crystal that's inside of your kidney and it passes through your urethra, your ureter, your urethra down into your bladder and you normally come out. It's just that passing is very painful. And that's where all of that back pain was coming from. Well, I have two kidney stones. One was five millimeters and that one is like really far up in my kidney and that one is actually still there. And then one was seven millimeters. Now the borderline um, to actually pass is five, milli five millimeters. And the one that was passed through me was seven millimeters. However, it didn't pass through to my bladder. It went all the way down to the tip of my ureter or urethra. I might be saying that wrong, y'all. I'm sorry, don't quote me right now. I think it's urethra, um, but it, it passed all the way down but it didn't go into my bladder so it was blocking basically any urine for from coming through and everything so that's where a lot a lot of the pain and things were coming from so originally they actually tried to like just um send me home on pain meds but it was honestly making absolutely no sense to me because first it was trying to send me home on pain meds then they tried to tell me that they were going to place do a surgery to place a stent inside of me and try to get the, the stone to pass itself which I didn't understand because if you're going to go in and place a stent then you can go in and remove this stone that that's you know less likely to actually pass on its own so with that being said um that's making that gum um, so with that being said, uh, they ended up, I stayed overnight. It didn't pass. They were trying to get me to just pass it while I was there. Um, they were running IVs through me. I was very dehydrated. Um, and all of these other things. So it didn't pass through. So they ended up taking me into surgery and, um, yeah, it was scary for me. Like it was, so it was scary because after the kids left, I was there by myself the entire time. Um, when I actually got ready for surgery, I was still by myself, um, when they sedated me and, you know, put me to sleep and everything, I was by myself, uh, but my mother, she was getting off of work, so when I woke up, like, I, the last thing I remember saying, they were like, oh, you have clients, because we were talking about school, and they're like, oh, you have clients, I'm like, yeah, and then the next thing you know, I was woke, um, and then my mom, when I woke up, my mom was right there all in my face with the camera and all of that stuff, so, yeah. Um, that was peaceful. Then she wound up, I was starving because I wasn't able to eat anything, um, 24 hours prior to the surgery. And they didn't take me into surgery until about like 6.30 and I came out at about 8.30. Um, let's see, the surgery itself, I, I didn't, um, I, okay, so I, I was afraid because I've never, I'm, I'm healthy, well, I've always considered myself to be healthy. Like, I, besides this, the only surgery I've ever had was a C-section with Amari. So, for me, it was a scary procedure. Um, and then, even coming out, like, I noticed that I was on antibiotics. And my mom, like, they said, you have an infection. And I'm like, I had them, you know, check, check, check for, you know, UTIs, these infections, all of these other things prior to even going to that point. So, I don't understand that. So, when the um, urologist came through, I actually just asked them, you know, what was the infection, what's going on. And um, basically, during the surgery, one of the utensils that they were using touched a non-sterile part of the table which um would have opened me up to like different organisms and things like that and different pathogens so um they put me on antibiotics and sent me home with antibiotics as well just to assure um you know everything was okay originally i was supposed to leave the hospital after the surgery however they ended up keeping me overnight again um because they needed to monitor and then my bladder it had like basically I wasn't releasing all of the urine even after the surgery um so that's kind of what happened my I'm still kind of like wrapping my head around it because okay the painful part I I've, I've gotten through that I still feel pain now however I have meds to kind of manage that like and yes I'm driving I'm not on narcotics um but I have meds to actually manage that so like the cramping the spasms that oh and they did ended up placing a stent as well they removed the seven millimeter stone they um put a stent inside of me so I actually have that there and that's supposed to get removed in two weeks um but the five millimeter stone is still there and basically I'm gonna have to go through that pain all over again and allow it to pass on its own um 
my thing was like how do I prevent this how is this caused what do I do from this point um and there the doctors basically were saying like they didn't have a lot of knowledge as far as nutrition and what I should do and what diet changes I should make however they did say that they would send the stone off um and that normally takes about two weeks and they'll see what it's made up of because it can be made up of calcium and all of these other different things um and then that will kind of direct it. So from the research I've done, I know that I have to cut back on like protein or any type of, you know, animal meat, uh, fish, eggs, dairy products, things of that nature. Um, so I took an initiative to actually reach out to two different people. Um, and I am really challenging myself. Who's that? They don't have to let me out. I am really challenging myself to um it's a i know i see it they're gonna have to let me out but i'm really challenging myself to be healthy not just for myself but for my family my children as well like our diet has to take a complete change um i know that my water intake has to be more i know like so basically from this point of recovering from the surgery and with what my goals are my plan is to just document my health journey and just see the changes and really let you guys in on those changes because at the end of the day anything could have happened you know anything could have happened anything could have went wrong um our health is definitely something serious and like all of these processed foods and all of this other stuff is really not good for us and it's really taking a toll on our bodies and my children are small i have a five-year-old and a three-year-old i plan on being around for them for a very long time and i'm not going to allow something like a kidney stone or my health or my diet um to actually you know take me away from them or pull back time like i have those these these few days of trying to to get myself back together it's like i have clients that depend on me i have children that depend on me like it's just so much so my biggest piece of advice um to anybody is to just take your health serious and watch what we put inside of our bodies because these type of things can actually be prevented um and i won't take up any more of your time trubies again i really appreciate you i love you guys um i'm i'm thankful for everything you guys have said to me all of the personal messages all of the comments everything um and i will stay updated i'm not going to tell you the next time i'm going to go live or anything like that because i really just want to finish getting myself together um so i'm actually headed home i ended up staying at my mom's last night so i'm gonna go home um make it through the day and i will be in touch i love you trubies i love you trubies bye i love you <laughs> oh why so harsh <laughs>